Corazal businessman Curtis Dale Swayze is accusing Belize Telemedia Limited of breaching a non-disclosure agreement, making it possible for the owners of Make Me Rich to use his idea and making themselves rich. Swayze contends that he had developed an idea of a lottery game show involving cell phone texting. He called it Super Slam Sunday. Swayze says he took his idea and the concept to BTL, after which he held several meetings and exchanged several emails from officials of BTL over the course of two years and eight months. He thought everything was going fine, but in August of 2014, he received a letter from BTL informing him that his idea was not in line with the company's goals and as such was rejected. A month later, to Swayze's surprise, the Mechme Rich game show appears on national television. Swayze filed a claim for damages through his attorneys Kareem Musa and Wayne Piper, suing BTL, which was represented by attorney Magali Perdomo, for breach of non-disclosure agreement and the directors of Mechme Rich, Andre Vega, who is the son of Deputy Prime Minister Gaspar Vega, and Sanjay Hochindani, who were both represented by attorney Naima Barrow. Swayze's attorney got the opportunity to prove his case, while Perdomo and Barrow got their time to prove him wrong in the courtroom of justice, Courtney Abel. We are very confident the case went excellent for us. What the court has asked for Mr. Swayze to do is to show that he is the owner of lottery texting. So in this great wide world of bright minds that you, Mr. Curtis Swayze, created the idea of texting and lottery via SMS. He did not prove that today. He has also failed to prove that my client, Belize Telemedia Limited, breached the confidentiality agreement, confidentiality agreement with him. He did not show an email. He did not show a text. He couldn't provide the conversation. So he totally failed on that point to show a breach on the part of Belize Telemedia Limited. So we are very confident in the way the case is proceeding for us. But no doubt we're very pleased with what was presented to the court today. It went exactly how we wished it to go, so I don't think it could have gone any better for us. Sir, how would you reject the assertion that while you've probably poked some holes in the defense of the defendant, your client has not established a clear line, a smoking gun, mm -hmm. that his idea was stolen? Mm -hmm. Well, I think if you look, and again, you're probing me to go a little further than I should, but if when you look at the evidence, you can see clearly where over the course of two and a half years, Mr. Swayze was providing technical information regarding lottery texting in Belize uh, via the uh, BTL cellular network. So I think that was clearly established that he was the one who came up with the concept. They had no clue about that concept, and that is evident by their response emails to Mr. Swayze. The claimant himself recognized that the concept of SMX texting to purchase lottery tickets or bolido doesn't belong to him. That is what the intellectual property is required for, um, and the designs are different. So w we, s we feel as though we're in a comfortable place at the end of the, the hearing. We have some missions to, to make, um, and it won't be concluded until February, so I can't say with any certainty how this case will go, but we're very comfortable where we are now. All parties are to submit written submissions by the end of January and on February 19th, they are scheduled to appear in court for Justice Abel's decision.